I came from New York City to live the main life. I was hired to design outdoor footwear. I live the main life. We're looking for college grads, so come get your check. I came from Venezuela to leave the main life. I opened my own restaurant. Learn more about hundreds of Maine jobs and our tax program for college grads at liveandworkinmaine.com. Coming up on this week's episode. Pumped to be here today back in Maine launching our truck in Portland. He was dreamy, right? Yes. Okay. Dude! How's it going? Living the dream, living the dream. We'll pass you, I'll be waiting. Did I say that well? It's uh, my kind of chaos. And this week at Myro Studios, we are hearing the music of songwriter Connor Garvey. Hi everyone, I'm Erin O'Valley, my partner in crime, Kevin Oates, and you're watching Main Life. An echo of an echo is the semblance of a sound. And I've pressed and I've waited with my ear upon the ground. Oh, lover, I'll see you there, waiting in the willows with your autumn hair. Oh, lover, I'll see you there after many months. Hi everyone, we are here at our home, Myro Studios in downtown Portland. And Kevin, you're not only a fantastic musician, teacher, entrepreneur, but I really like what you did with the place. I've been working on it. It's been a week of work in progress, but I love interior design. If I ever switch jobs, I know what I'm going towards. Do you really love it? Oh, I really yeah. love it. Yeah, it's crazy. It's ridiculous. <laughs> So what else is going on in your world? Um, so we are just a couple weeks away from our show with the Ghost of Paul Revere. Um, so this is a, there's a great festival up in Kingfield, Maine called the Kingfield Pops. Um, it's a day-long festival full of music of everything from the Bangor Symphony Orchestra to the group called Salt of the Strings. But we get the headline, the whole festival. So Ghost of Paul Revere accompanied by Maine Youth Rock Orchestra on June 24th at Kingfield Pops. Uh, you can find information on our website, maineyouthrockorchestra.org and we're excited to, uh, yeah. to make it a reality. This is gonna be a fun one. And that part of the um, state is so beautiful in the summer too. Well, it's a beautiful outdoor festival, so what, you know, it's gonna be a perfect day. Put it on your calendar. Well, here on Main Life this week, we were on the road to Lewiston, where we interviewed an employee from Grant Rounds, fairly new to the state, um, out of San Francisco, but they are hiring so fast. I mean, they, I think, have 30 or so employees and they're hoping for 150 Holy cow. in the next uh, few years. Yeah. Wow. And then right behind them is Baxter Brewing Company. So we toured that and yes. you're I've good been friends with the founder. For a long time, yes. We like their beer. And Maine Cousins Lobster. The cousins are back. Yeah, I saw that. That's incredible. It's so good. So after five years going um, all around the country, 26 food trucks in 13 cities, they are back here home in Portland. So take a look at their truck. You'll hear their story coming up. And this week in music, uh, we are bringing back season one of From Main Life, songwriter Connor Garvey with the song Water to the Well.
We are proud to support Maine businesses. Not only are they our customers, they are the lifeblood of our state. Whether they're entrepreneurs who have come here to try to grow a business and make a life, or whether they've been in a sixth generation business in Maine, we're proud of them all. Grand Rounds is a healthcare company. We match patients with top doctors. Matching patients with top doctors is incredibly important because it turns out that patients who are seeing high quality physicians receive better care than the average patient, thus leading to better health, faster recovery times, and less medical expense. Really excited to be a tenant in Mill 6, where above Fishbones, which if you haven't eaten there, I highly recommend it. The community really you know, wanted to be part of our success, and we wanted to be a part of the success of the community. So it was a really great marriage um, for us bringing Grand Rounds here to Lewiston Auburn. I was employee number seven at Grand Rounds, and it's an incredible feeling to look at how the company has changed going from seven to over 300. Grand Round started looking for an East Coast Operations Center because we found that our customers, really two-thirds of them, as well as then two-thirds of their employees, were located east of the Mississippi. As we narrowed it down, Maine was one of our top three locations, and we took our CEO on a tour of the top three and eventually selected Maine. We're going to walk through our conference room area, which we built under our mezzanine. Um, this is Derek Shepard, our nod to our local celebrity, Patrick Dempsey. He was McDreamy, right? Yes, oh. um, Grey's Anatomy, <laughs> which I'm a little embarrassed to say I never watched, but... Um, <laughs> I am particularly thrilled to be back here because it's my hometown. I grew up here in Lewiston. I am thrilled to be in Maine in general because it is the way life should be. People genuinely care about one another. They really want to see one another succeed. It's nice to be part of that again. We're growing the Lewiston Auburn lo location. We hope over the next four to five years to grow to 150 to 200 employees. We have around 30 employees working in this office today and we're hiring. If you're working in the healthcare field and you really want to make a difference, check out Grand Rounds. Hi, I'm Jim. I guess I'm just looking for the ideal partner. I love being out in the wild, taking the road less traveled. I want someone who gets along with my friends. Someone I can... Welcome back. In this week's Places and Spaces, we are here at the Bates Mill Complex in Lewiston, touring Baxter Brewing Co. Where inside they have a lot of exciting things going on, including the hiring of their new director of brewing. Let's go meet Andrew. Welcome to Maine, Andrew. Thank you. How does it feel to be here? It's exciting. I'm glad the sun's out. <laughs> right, finally. <laughs> so you've been here at Baxter just a few weeks. Just about two weeks, yeah. How's it going? How excited it's are you? It's going great. You know, it's uh, hitting the ground running. I compare it to changing the oil on the car while you're driving 70 miles an hour down the highway. <laughs> but, um, like the analogy. Yeah, that's uh, my kind of chaos. When you first heard about Baxter or tried their beer, were, uh, did you find that the, the logo and the branding was unique and fun. Yeah, you know, and it's something that you see uh, with a lot of craft breweries. You know, it starts with just an idea, maybe in a garage. <laughs> and then over time, it's like, whoa, this is a business. One of the things that attracted me to Baxter was the Bates Mill. Incredible location. Looking at the community as well, making the Bates Mill a place where people were making things again. I love that idea. I love to be part of that. So Baxter is a unique brand in itself and you have a unique team with yes. a handful of personalities. Yes, <laughs> yes, a handful, a bucket full. Yeah, absolutely. So how has it been with our friend uh, Maddie? Maddie's great. Maddie is the beating heart 
of their brewing team. He's doing what he loves, he loves what he does, and uh, he brings that energy and excitement with him every day. We're now going to sneak up behind Maddie J, who's the head brewer here at Baxter, and take a look around. <laughs> Pallet and a half. Yeah. Well, hello. hello. How do? How's it going? Living the dream. Living the dream. I haven't seen you in a while. That's been a long time. It actually it's has. Been all, it has been. It's been a long time. It's probably been a year. So right? what's Since... what's going on? You got a rebrand. You got a new yeah. Uh, so brand. yeah, new director of operations. Rebrand. Um, new beers coming out. New recipes. Working on pilots all the time. We've got a new little. $250,000 ice cream machine down there spinning a centrifuge around. So we're uh, doing some separation of our beers now that we hadn't been doing before. So we're up in yields and working on quality all the time. Does Andrew know what he's getting himself into? I like to think that he does. Um, but no, I don't think he did coming into it. But. So something um, folks need to know about our friend Maddie J here is that you um, like to sing. I do. I love to Past, sing. You know, sometime that things get busy here. Yeah, so what I do is I end up singing to the guys here. I like singing and I walk through and it's not great or anything, but it's a little bit of a morale boost and it makes me feel a little bit better. So I'm putting you on the spot then. Oh, on the spot. What go. do we sing? Charlie, what do we sing? Cindy Lopper? If you fall, I will catch you. I'll be waiting. Oh, Charlie, time after time. Is this the spotlight? Ah, the spotlight's <laughs> coming up. <laughs> So excited to be in Maine. I'm stoked to be here. Yeah. It's hey. incredible. Similar culture to Colorado, but you've got the ocean. You've got the ocean, <laughs> absolutely. So it's a good culture fit. The craft beer scene here is robust, uh, you know, exciting, innovative. Um, so add family to that, and it's a no-brainer. Well, happy to have you. Cheers. Cheers, my friend. Thank you. <laughs> And we're back with one more song from songwriter Connor Garvey. You can see him perform this fall with Maine Youth Rock Orchestra. In the meantime, take a listen. Five years and 26 trucks later, in 13 different cities around the world, Cousins Sabin and Jim, founders of Cousins Maine Lobster, are happy to be home. Hi, my name is Sabin Lomack. And I am Jim Salikas. And together we are Cousins Maine Lobster. We are so pumped to be here today, back in Maine, launching our truck in Portland. Did I say that well? You did a very nice job. My cousin and I launched our first food truck in Los Angeles five years ago. 
Uh, we've since opened over 26 different locations. We have a restaurant in West Hollywood. We're now opening internationally and we specialize in, in the traditional lobster roll. We have the best product, Maine Lobster, Claw, Knuckle and Tail Meat. We bring our bread from Maine all over the country, all over the world. And we really pride ourselves on just really the best quality product, which is Maine Lobster. Ever since we launched in 2012 in Los Angeles, we've been wanting to come back to Maine. Yeah. Um, but it was really all about timing for us and growing the brand. Um, and finally, the opportunity is right to bring the truck back home and be with our family and friends and everyone that we grew up with. Extremely proud of our business. Oh my gosh, we're over the moon. I mean, I'm so glad I moved him to Maine when he was four from California, raised him here, and then all of a sudden, you know, it changed his life. I mean, Maine is, I was born here, so you were too. Yes. We're Mainas. We're Mainas. Oh, They're so proud to come back to their roots, and I can see all my friends, so it's cool. It's, it's great, great to it's be quite home. exciting. Um, I run into friends who'll say to me, I saw the truck yesterday on Commercial Street. I saw the truck up in the um, up at the East End. So I, I, I really look forward to this summer and seeing them uh, really do a nice job here in Portland. Onward, their upward. hometown. They're their homeboys. Really... They're homeboys. The last five years has been a crazy ride. It has been fun, scary. The best. Oh, that's uncomf it's uncomfortable. The best. Strange. No, it's it's been a dream come true to be doing it with this guy. It's been a blast and Shark Tank and Barbara and and now to be back in Maine with our family and friends who have supported us the whole time is 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 spectacular. Time now to highlight our main innovator and creator. Meet this week's game changer. At Town & Country, we continue to grow a collaborative and innovative environment for our employees. And as such, we value supporting others, such as the game changers, who pursue their passions to make Maine a better place to live and work. Welcome back to Game Changers. My name is Jess Knox. I'm pleased today to have Shane Diamond with us. Shane, why don't you tell our audience a little bit about the work that you're doing? Absolutely. Uh, thank you for having me. I'm honored to be here. I run a nonprofit here in Portland called Speak About It, and we offer performance-based consent education and sexual assault prevention for high school and college students. So why did you start this project in Maine? I had an opportunity to go to college in Maine. Uh, I went to Bowdoin College. I graduated in 2010, and I was involved in this initial version of Speak About It, and nobody was talking about sexual assault prevention in a way that included healthy sexuality and included the yes part of consent. People were talking mostly about how to not get in trouble and no one was talking about healthy relationships and healthy sexual relationships, ways to watch out for each other at parties or bars. We call that being an active bystander. And I was an actor in that initial version, which was a surprise to everyone because I had zero acting skills. A little bit personable, but that's about it. And I graduated in 2010 and realized this should be everywhere. So I was able to get some of the rights uh, from the college and started the organization in 2010. We've been a nonprofit since 2012. Very lucky to have our roots here in Portland and are excited to be able to travel and build community and build conversation at every school we visit. It sounds, you know, you're taking entertainment, which in some instances where the, the whole conversation about consent is mm -hmm. not, uh, doesn't really manifest itself in right. necessarily a very positive way, and sort of turning it on its head and using it as the medium mm -hmm. for uh, really changing the conversation. Theater has a way to make conversations accessible. It disarms us. It makes us feel like no one is watching because we're sitting in the dark. Uh, it has an opportunity to be fun and funny. We also get a chance to speak from the heart and share stories of students uh, and their experiences with sex, having sex, not having sex, waiting for marriage. We speak very openly about sexual assault, the intersection between alcohol and assault, and we do it hopefully in a way that leaves people talking about it. If we do the show for an hour and nobody continues the dialogue, we haven't done our job. We hope that we can encourage people to keep talking about it, to ask for consent, to be active bystanders. Because you're right, this is kind of an uncomfortable situation and kind of an uncomfortable topic. No one is taught how to talk about sex, and certainly no one is taught how to talk about pleasure. And so we're, we kind of acknowledge that. This is going to be uncomfortable. We stage a hookup scene, and there's two folks in a bunk bed, and this particular scene is between a guy and a girl, and 
He's like, I really want to ask for consent, but it's going to be awkward. And she's like, we're in a bunk bed. This is awkward. Everything about this is Everything uncomfortable. Everything about a bunk bed is awkward and, and it's terrible. And, and how do you make that okay? I'm very fortunate as a trans guy to be at the head of this company. And so the show is queer friendly. We share perspectives from people of all different sexualities, gender identities, uh, having sex, not having sex, waiting for marriage again. What we're really trying to get home is that consent is universal and consent is for everyone. It's not just for straight people. Men are not just perpetrators of sexual assault. Women are not just survivors of sexual assault. And how do you include everyone in this conversation in a way that encourages people to have this dialogue and to talk about this. And so we're actually really excited. We've got a couple really cool events coming up here in the community. On June 9th, we're partnering with um, Planned Parenthood of Northern New England and Maine Boys to Men, two nonprofits here in Portland along with Speak About It. We're gonna be at Oxbow. We're having a 90s style dance party called Summer Under the Rainbow. We're gonna really be some excited. Great clothing there. We talked about that. Off great camera. clothing, great music. We've got some great local DJs happening. And then if you're around, you can catch the Speak About It float in the Pride Parade on June 17th. Excellent. I'll be there. If people want to find out more information about the project, uh, what's your website? Again, we're called Speak About It, speakaboutitonline.com. You can track us down on Facebook, and we're on Twitter and Instagram at We Speak About It. Perfect. Cool. Thanks for being here. Thanks, Jess. Thanks everyone for joining us. Make sure you tune in next week. If you're a lady and you love adventure, we're gonna tell you more about the Ladies Adventure Club. And in our business segment, we are featuring Coast of Maine. But before we finish today, we have one last song from songwriter Connor Garvey. It's called Break the Cage. Thanks for watching. Watch the careless acrobats in the theater of the wind. Criminal freedom, cavalier and sin. Explosions in the half light will bring them down to rubble. Young foolish birds who love too much. This kiss will only bring you trouble. Old man, old man, I try to hear your words. The lesson you've taken from the birds But my love is strong, goes stronger every day It's like a bird that breaks the cage and flies away well, A heart can hardly handle all the twists and turns The more the heart's enlightened more it burns, you're better off standing with both feet on the ground. Young foolish birds who love too much, gravity will bring you down. Old man, old man, I try to hear your words and heed the lesson you've taken from the birds. And it's true, you'll fall if you step off of a cliff. Spread your wings and catch the updraft and drift.
flies away, flies away, flies away. Flies away, flies away.